previous video I showed how to join two pieces of broken barbed wire together. This video here is to show simply how to tie a strainer knot. All right, so I'm at the other part where this older wire here, this rusted wire broke. And now I'm taking this quote unquote new wire, this, this repair wire, and joining it together over here. We did the wrap on the other side. So that wrap, uh, we've strained it, it's quite tight. We haven't strained it so tight that if I looked up, I'm gonna go ahead and lean the camera up, that if I leaned up that this next wire and the wires above it are not uh, becoming loose, but we strained it tight enough that it has some tension on it. Um, what we'll go ahead and do now, if I can push that those branches back, I'm gonna turn it a little bit here and maybe see if I can get it in the frame properly. We're gonna take this old wire and we are going to loop it over. Somewhat loose of a loop, especially with this old wire, we do not want to crack it, break it, anything like that. Keep it kind of free of that area there, and we've got the old part behind it. So I've taken it, I've bent it over, and put the old part behind it. Now, what I'm going to do, loosen it just a little bit, and get that wire through it. If this here was just regular non-barbed wire, we'd thread it through it, but with barbed wire, it's very hard to do that. You're going over every single barb. Now, I've got it relatively tight. I'm going to strain it one more time from here and hope nothing breaks. Okay, there we go. Here we go, nothing broke. So we're in business now. All right, what we will then do, if I can get that branch out of the way again, we will then tighten this wire and I'm actually gonna cut quite a bit of it off because I've got some excess on the other side. We will tighten this wire over the loop, so not over the strained part of the wire here. We will tighten it over the loop, all right? So we're going over the loop, and then like right over the knot there. So we're going over the break. Very tight circles. We're gonna do two of them, basically as tight as we can over this. That's three. Then we're gonna take this and bend it back up. We're then again going to finish off with three more tight, tight, tight strains. All right, there we go. Now this will hold itself momentarily. We've got most of the slack taken out. We will lose some on this, okay? But about the only thing that can be better are those little wire or those little circle crimps that you can buy and those are about 25 to 50 cents a piece so if you're in a pinch and not at the hardware store do this break that off we're not straining on that loop that we made come on get off of there <laughs> there we go we're not straining on that loop that we made we're straining on the double part of the wire what i do after that some people will break it off and cut it right here. I'll just go ahead and kind of twist it back over just in case that were to break or something. I've got an additional spot where it's not completely lost. But that's like a little strainer knot. You can see it's relatively tight and about the only thing you can do better is buy one of those little metal crimps. Uh, so if you're, like I said, if you're far from the hardware store, or far from the home and garden, farm and ranch store, this is a great knot to get a good tight repair on your fence. Follow K County OSU Extension on social media to keep up to date on upcoming events, educational information, and research-based information. Thank you for watching.